Hello everyone, MSRNDA2007 here, and today is Tuesday, May 25th, 2021, at 5.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time, and I got a new radio today, and that radio is the Midland ER50, so yeah, and as you may or may not know, this is a Walmart exclusive radio. Um, my mom and I went to Walmart a couple weeks ago to get, um, I was, well, we had a few things we needed to look at, and I also wanted to try and get one of these, but they had absolutely no radios at all. They had no weather radios. They didn't have ER-210s, WR-120s, no ER-50s, nothing. So, yeah, and then as you can see on, on the side... It has the yellow and orange coloring that Walmart likes to use on their tags. So, yeah, with that being said, here we go. Actually, I don't want to damage the seal. I'm just going to peel it off. Here we are. And if you don't know, um, this radio is like the um, ER310 in that it recharges batteries. In fact, it's basically kind of the smaller version of the ER310. So, yeah. There's the seal. Don't want to lift this up. Oops. Don't want to lift this up. Put that there. As you can see, it says Midland. And here we go. Wow, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Then, instruction manual. Shouldn't need that. It should be like the um, ER310 and how to program it. Then, before I get the actual radio out. USB charging cable. USB-A to micro USB. And then here is the radio itself. So, yeah, go ahead and take the screen protector off the screen. Unlike most people, I actually don't stick, stick my um, radio screen protectors on my window. I actually keep them in the box. Then take this protective film or the flashlight off. Stick it on the box, and then, yeah, and then I guess to power on the radio, you take out the tab. So that being said, here we go. There we are. And just like the R310, the fall time is 8 a.m., so press and hold menu. 12 hour, the 24 hour. It is 5:24 p.m. That will convert to 17:24. Then time dot is. So now it's going to be 526 since I missed it. Looks like it came with about half charge. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this has the same annoying siren that the um, ER310 has.
These buttons do feel quite nice. And then back around for five seconds. And then we'll go ahead and keep the frequency display. So go ahead and press the power on button for the band. And if you press and hold to turn on, yes. Set this to um, 1520. Actually, I'm going to set on um, actually, I'll just set on 1520 um, K-O-K-C. The drum administration had a lot of us, especially the teenagers, going to very react. FM. I'm going to set this on um, 92.5 KMMA. Hours a day, seven days a week. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but this does actually have a um, signal strength meter. And then it's defaulted to 162.400, which is kind of nice. Now, let's try and get this antenna out. Okay, is there something I don't know about getting this antenna out? Don't want to break it. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Thursday night, partly cloudy with thunderstorms likely. Lows in the mid 60s. There you are. South winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Chance of thunderstorms 70 percent. Friday, mostly okay. cloudy. Okay. 40 percent chance of thunderstorms. That's small. Not as warm. Highs in the mid 70s. Friday night, partly cloudy with a 30 percent so chance of thunderstorms. So stations are going to Oh, that's the volume indicator. Sunday. Go ahead and set on WXK85. Lower the antenna. Then put this back in its proper spot. Oh, and I was doing something wrong. I was trying to pull it out this way when you pull it out this way. On the back. Nice little hand crank. Okay. There we are. Kind of different to the ER310's hand crank. Oh, no power indicator. There's no um, power indicator. No power LED or charge LED. Then here takes the same exact battery as the um, the ER310. I just get the battery in. There we are. And then turn on WX. I guess you press that just like on the ER310, then flashlight. Um, there is no dog whistle on this. So, yeah, no dog whistle. Then here, headphone output, USB output, the micro USB input for charging it. So, yeah. Then, like I said, instruction manual. So it's at, it's got two battery indicators on it. 
So two thirds left. It's basically half battery left. Or about half. So yeah, go ahead and put this here. Oops. Grab the bag for it. Because if I get my radios at a store, I'd like to put them in their back in the bag. I got them in. So I can keep the box in good shape. Then, I guess, I'll probably use the cable I use for my um, ER310. Currently, I'm not, I'm not even using the ER310 at the moment, so it'll be perfectly fine if I use its power cable. Or its USB cable. And like that. So, yeah. Also, if you're wondering how much I pay, how much I paid for this, um, I'm gonna have to block out some information here. You can probably kind of see it. Oops, you can see a little bit of the store number. As you can see here, ER50 radio. Um. 3988 and then um, tax 8.75 tax um, $3.49 in tax and then 43.37 is what I paid and then paid with for and then I gave the checkout um, $45 because I did use self checkout then Change to dollar sixty three, but that doesn't really matter. Anyways, so yeah, go ahead. And, I'll go and grab my ER three ten cable or the micro USB cable I use for the ER three ten. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, I put it in my. I put it in the drawer. Put it in. The, in the store here. Alright, here you are. This is the cable that originally came with the ER310. But I like it a lot more than I'm this is something I've never shown you before. Um I've actually not done a review video on the what on this weather station yet. Although it's not exactly the best. It doesn't work too well. I'm going to gently set this on the um, the regular version 5 300. Like I said, this isn't the original cable that came with the ER310, but it's a little longer. So, yeah, and also, this is on my weather station. It, it actually does have a USB port on it, 5 volt, 1 amp. You can also mount this on the wall. So, yeah, go ahead. Um, I'll do a review video on the on this weather station at some point. I'm not sure when though, but expect um, a review of it sometime in the future. And actually, expect a video on it possibly in a couple weeks because, actually, if I'm being honest, um, I'm actually going to do a channel update video. Um. So. Yeah, I am going to be doing a channel update video, and I'll also be doing a weather radio collection video, as it's almost June, so I will be doing a weather radio collection video, so, yeah, so, yeah, look out for a, um, video, a review video on the, on my weather station, Let's set this here. This is not where it's going to sit. This is only where I'm going to charge it. It's real place where it's going to sit will be down here. Then go ahead and set the camera down here. If you're wondering what happened here with my 12519 antenna, um, 
long story. But I do plan on getting a replacement. I actually may replace my 12.519 antenna with a um, antenna from. Oops. Okay, you know what? I'll just do it up here. The cable is stretched far enough for that. So, go ahead and plug it in. There we are. And as you can see on screen, it's now charging. So, like I said, this is not where it's going to sit. This is just where I'm charging it for right now. And then, once I decide to put my ER310 back in service, then it'll go right here. And then this will go down here. So, yeah. And, just like the ER310, I will be using this as a, for the most part, a, um, catching alerts on AM and FM radio. I am actually looking at getting a um, either a Eton Elite, Elite Mini or a Eton Elite Traveler. The, um, the Elite Mini is the is basically a smaller version of the Elite Traveler except it doesn't have world time or any of that good stuff. But I'm also looking at getting a, um, a Elite Traveler. So, yeah. Um, I actually prefer to get one of the, um, a Eton, a Eton Grundig, um, Traveler 3, which is basically the older and also the silver version of the Eton Elite Traveler, but those are kind of expensive on eBay, so yeah, and then I'm not going to raise the antenna on this, um, because I don't want the antenna on this to break, especially since Midland hasn't started selling replacement antennas for it yet, so yeah. Then also, as of right now, I still haven't gotten a power cable for this um, 100. This one I got from the thrift store. Also, actually, let me look. Okay, so this one's older than this one. Anyway, so, yeah, this video is getting to be a little long. And my camera is going to get ready to stop recording because it has some sort of safety feature or something. But anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, if you could, um, I never really do this. Um, but if you haven't already, um, please subscribe to um, Holly, also known as the ES Geek. Yes, I am talking about. Sorry about that, my camera stopped recording for some reason. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know why Canon did this, but for some reason, my camera stops recording after, um, 18 minutes and 30 seconds. I don't know why Canon did that. I've messed with all the settings on this camera, and no matter what I do, it still stops at 18 minutes and 30 seconds. So, yeah. I could probably maybe change it in the computer software, but I don't want to install the software for my camera on my laptop because when I download the software for my printer so that I can be able to scan documents in, um, it downloaded a bunch of other programs. Um, so, yeah. So, what I'm afraid of is that when I download software for my camera, it's going to install a bunch of other stuff as well. So, yeah. Anyways, now as you may have heard before my camera stopped recording, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Holly, aka the Siren Geeks second channel or 
her EAS channel, which is the EAS Geek. Now, if you haven't subscribed to her main channel, which is the Siren Geek, please subscribe. Um, as you can see here, it has um, over a thousand subscribers. So, yeah. But, if you haven't already, even if you're subscribed to her um, main channel, if you haven't already, please subscribe to her EAS channel because she makes some awesome videos. Way better than mine. I mean, don't get me wrong. My videos are, at least I like to think that they're pretty good, but hers are even better. They are a lot better than mine. And if we look up here, her her second channel is the EAS Geek. As you can see here, it only has 89 subscribers. And she deserves more because she makes way better videos than I do. And honestly, I don't know how she has 10 more subscribers than me. She deserves like 100 more than me. Or a thousand more than me. Because she makes way better videos. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Like I said. Don't get me wrong. My videos are pretty good. But hers are even better. So if you like EAS stuff. Um, like if you like the stuff that you see on my channel. Then con please consider subscribing to her channel. To Holly. A.K.A. The Siren Geek. Um, subscribe to her main channel, but, um, please subscribe, if you haven't already, please subscribe to her second channel, The EAS Geek, because she makes way better videos than I do, and she also, she doesn't upload as much as I do, well, she does, but, but I mean, um, she uploads a video at least once a week. She publishes a video at least once a week. So, she's actually, she's kind of on the same schedule as I am, where I'm only uploading one video a week. Well, except for that one week that I upload a bunch of custom, um, videos. Um, that was different, and I'll explain that in a different video, but yeah. Like I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe to Holly, a.k.a. The Siren Geek's second channel, which is The EAS Geek. So, yeah, there it is. Then also, if you haven't, um, please subscribe to her main channel, which is The Siren Geek. But also, subscribe to her um, EAS channel, The EAS Geek. And also... Um, follow her on Instagram. Now, she doesn't post as much weather and EAS stuff on Instagram. But she still posts quite often. Here's her Instagram. So, yeah. See, she doesn't post as much, um weather and EAS stuff on there, but she still posts some pretty cool photos. She still posts some amazing siren photos. Or pictures of sirens. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, Like I said, I don't normally do shoutouts here on my channel. But that is um, something I did want to do. I did want to shout out Holly, a.k.a. The Siren Geeks, second channel, The EAS Geek. That's something I felt like I needed to do. So, yeah. So, don't expect that all the time. Um, that's just something. And I'll probably shout, I'll probably shout her out in more videos. Um... But, by no means is, is it going to be a thing that I do every single video. I just figured I'd, that's something I needed to do. I'll probably shout her out maybe 
every other video, every three videos. Um, I don't know. But yeah, shoutouts are not going to become a common thing on this channel. Please don't ask for a shoutout. Um, and if you do, if you ask once, that's okay. I may shout you out, but if you ask multiple times, then please don't. Then you're probably not going to get a shout out if you ask me multiple times. And if you spam the, my comment section on one of my videos asking for a shout out, then you're going to get blocked. So, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching this video, and have a nice day. Okay, so before the video actually ends, I'd like to go ahead and make this quick announcement. Now, some of you may or may not know, but I do have a website. Um, there's a link to it in every video. I always put a link to it in the description section of every video. In fact, there will be a link to it in the description of this video. So, yeah. And there's a section on there that's labeled as Contact Me. And if you click on it, then you'll see, um, then you'll see how you can be able to contact me in case you have any questions about, or comments about my videos. So, yeah. And I've recently did a, um, update to it. So, yeah, here it is. So, um, if you have any questions or concerns or comments that you don't really feel should be put in the comment section or they're too long to fit in the, in a single comment, then you can go ahead and email me at this email right here. As you can see here, it's contact.msrnda2007 at gmail.com. So, yeah, I used to have a different email on here, but I decided to go and create one dedicated to this. Now, keep in mind, when you press this, it'll probably, um, if you're using a Microsoft computer like I am, it'll probably try to go to the mail app on the computer. Um, so, if you don't want that, the way you can do is right click, click copy email address, and then you can go to whatever platform or whatever web website you manage your email through, like Gmail or something, and so, yeah, hold on one second. Delete. Okay, sorry, I was making sure that there weren't any... I didn't have any emails that had my, um... That had any sort of information I didn't want you to see. So, yeah. So, like I said, if you... Like I said, most likely, if you click on this, it'll try to go to the mail app on the computer if you're using a Microsoft computer like mine, so what you can do is you can click, right click, oops, click, right click on the mouse, click copy email address, then you can go to whatever service you use to manage your email, whether that's Gmail, Yahoo, or AOL, if people still use that. Well, honestly, I can't really speak about AOL because I do still use AOL, but I use, I use, I do have a AOL email that I use for spam, for stuff that, for websites that I think will send me a lot of spam stuff, so, yeah. But anyways, so, here I am in Gmail. And then you click Compose, 
you enter the email address you would like to email to you click paste it'll paste the email right there also if you could please put subject in, please put um, your question in subject line well don't put your question but put like the general topic of the email in there so I'd be able to um, know what it is before I click on the email so yeah and then so yeah and then let me delete this draft real quick delete delete so yeah like I said in my case with Gmail you click compose you click paste and there's the email put the general topic of the email in the subject line type whatever you want out and there you are now I'm not going to get into all my particular um, requirements for an, e for an email well I don't have any requirements but I do have some recommendations and stuff you can read all about you can either pause the video and read this or you can go to my website so yeah then let me actually uh, so here's the link to it and there will also be a direct link to it in the description below. Now if you're on something like a TV or something. Like if you're on an Amazon Fire Stick. Or even a um, like a um, Sony Bravia Smart TV. Um, you won't be able to view the, the description section on there. So yeah. Then in that case, what you can do is you can, there's the link right there. And then what you can do is if you're on something like, if you're on, like if you're on a Amazon Fire Stick or something, um, you can open up, uh, what is that? Amazon Silk. And type in this email address and you, you can still be able to go to it. It's, now, by no means is it going to be that good trying to control it but if that's your only option I guess it can work so yeah like I said here's the email right here and then pause if you want to read this so yeah anyways also, this is being filmed on Memorial Day. This this particular part of the video. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.